Okay, so you've watched how to find a pair of numbers whose product is 100 and whose difference is 21, or whose product is 72 and whose sum is 18. Um, those numbers can get very large very quickly, but that process will work. Now we're going to show how it actually applies to factoring trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Okay, notice here I have the sum, uh, you have plus bx and plus c. Now, there's nothing stopping us from having c being negative. You could have x squared plus um, 2x minus 3. C is negative. B is positive. You can also have B being negative. x squared minus 6x plus 9. You can have both being negative if you want to. When we write x squared plus bx plus c, we are looking at that B and or C could be positive or they could be negative or a mixture. So, what do we do? So now let's look at an example. You have x squared plus 5x minus 24. Okay, so our coefficient of x squared is 1. So this is actually the nicer case. What you're going to do, we're going to unfoil, if you will, our trinomial here. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your variable and bring it down. So x goes into the first part of each uh, of the binomials that, were, that are the factors. Then you go ahead and just bring down this sign and put it in the first one. So if that was a negative 5x, you'd bring down a minus. Because it's a plus, you bring down a plus. Now, the signs are going to be uh, important or tied to uh, our pair of numbers shortly, but it's key that you bring down the, the plus first. Then you are going to multiply your two signs together to determine this one. And what do I mean by multiply? A positive times a negative is a negative. If this would have been a negative and a negative, you have negative times negative would be positive. So you look at these two signs and multiply them together. Positive, negative, is negative. Okay, so now we have x plus something and x minus something. So now, we need to figure out what those two numbers are. And to do that, we're going to form our table. So, what we're going to do is We want to find the product of two numbers is this last number. Do not, you don't have to pay attention to the, the sign in front of it. You don't have to worry about the product of two numbers is negative 24. We'll deal with that shortly, the sign that is. So the product is 24. Now, if you remember from our, uh, the video dealing with uh, finding two numbers, whose product is specified. I gave an example of a sum and a difference. So when you use sum, when you use difference. It actually corresponds to this sign. Because this sign is negative, or a minus, you're going to look at the difference. So what does the difference equal? If the product was 24, the difference is 5. So you kind of go right to left. The product two numbers is 24, and the difference is 5. I'm going to go through a couple more examples in a few moments. So we need to find the product of numbers is 24. So we go through the process. 1 and 24. 2 and 12. 3 and 8. 4 and 6. 5 doesn't go into 24, but 6 does. But now we're starting up on the right-hand side. You look at the differences. 23, 10, 5. Hey, we got our pair. There it is. So now, you're going to go back to the problem. So 
So now we're back to the problem, and our pair of numbers was 8 and 3. You put the larger number first. This is kind of important because of all the issues with the signs. So you put 8 first and 3 second. If you just put them in kind of at random, if you put the 3 first and 8 second, you will actually not get this as the product. So our answer is x plus 8 times x minus 3. That's our answer. To check this, we're going to FOIL this out. So your firsts is x squared. Your outers is minus 3x. Your inners is plus 8x. And lastly, your lasts is minus 24, which turns out to be x squared. Minus 3 plus 8 is plus 5x minus 24. So our next example is x squared minus 12x plus 32. You're going to write down your parentheses. You're going to put x's first. You're going to bring down the minus sign, which is the first sign here. You're going to multiply minus times plus, which is minus. So now we're going to try to find the product of two numbers is equal to 32, which is this final uh, term here, our constant term. But now we need to know the sum to be 12. So we go through our list of pairs of numbers as product of 32. 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8, 5 doesn't go into there, 6 doesn't go into there, 7 doesn't, 8 goes, and you're starting off the right hand side. And you go through your sums, 33, 18, 12. There's your pair. Put the larger one first and the smaller one second. In this case here, it doesn't matter which one goes first or second. Just get into the habit of putting the larger one first and you'll be fine. Now notice with this process here, I'm taking away all responsibility all the potential problems of dealing with the signs. By bringing down the signs and then multiplying two signs and figuring out what that one is by multiplying the positive times the negative, um, I'm taking all the signs, the problems with signs away from you. So you don't have to worry about it. It's done in the system. 